from this video you will know how to jump like an Einstein, how to become a cannonball, how to swing without a regret, and many other interesting things. So let's go 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 hello youtubers my name is nixvi you're on the channel for those who love inline skating and wants to progress in it and today we will continue talking about jumping on inline skates today's tutorial probably will be the most important of all my jumping series because today we will be talking about the basic jump what is the basic jump the basic jump is the jump that you can use for almost any no spin jump if you want to jump over some vertical obstacle like a barrier or over some horizontal obstacle like some paddle whether you want to jump on the stairs or off the stairs you can jump with the basic jump you can jump over everything with it for example right now i'm trying to jump over my midlife crisis with it And before we start, I would like you to imagine that light athletics long jump athlete who is jumping in slow mo. Imagine how he makes his swing with the arms, how he's running, how he's flying, and how he's landing. Wonderful image. Forget about it, because jumping on inland skates is absolutely different. The most close analogy from jumping without wheels on your boots is jump on one place just jump up and going back down on the same place it's like in the relativity theory the distance that you get while jumping is created only by the speed that you gain before the jump you are moving on a constant speed and in your own system of coordinates you are just jumping up on one place and going back down on the same place just jump up and down on one place do like this and dr einstein will be proud of you so don't forget to put on all your pets and a helmet and let's go and try it and don't forget to make a solid warm-up you have to warm up your legs and feet your hands and your arms because you will be swinging with them and also your neck because you will have to amortize your landing with all your body otherwise you can get a terrible headache like i did this time so it all starts with the move of our arms you already know how not to swim with your arms from my previous video today we will be talking how to swing properly and we will start from the preparation move it starts from the basic stance you are making your stance a little bit deeper like making a squat and making a preparation move with your arms don't make it too fast because you can lose your balance and scratch the asphalt with your nose just move them to the back as far as possible and from that position you will initiate your jump so when we are moving our arms we are trying to get our torso up so we are not moving with our hands and forearms but we are also moving with the shoulders and to make our shoulders move we have to move our elbows up also so don't make like that make like that just rise your elbows first up and you will immediately feel that your shoulders are going up also and all torso with your shoulders too so it looks like that up here is the jump i'm moving preparation and up and i'm already jumping just try to make it a few times a good swing and you will get at some point that movement up and your feet will start rising also so up and we are jumping so once you've understood that mechanics of the swing with the arms you can go to the next step and the next step is of course the move of your legs from the history of wars you know that there are two objects that fly good for long distances the arrow and the cannonball 
Of course, you can use the arrow jump if you want to hit the opponent with your hat. But for our purposes of long and high jump, the cannonball model is much more effective. All that you have to do is to move your knees as close as possible to your chest and to become a ball. If you will become a cannonball, you will fly longer and you will get the higher distance from the ground because your legs will be near your face. Just don't forget to become the man when you will be landing. And now the next stage, you have to amortize your landing. So you have to land on your bent knees and make it even more bent at the landing. Some people are trying to land in the scissor position, but that's not right. If you are jumping in the skate park, that is a good idea, but on a flat, you have to jump into the squat. And if you have a scissor position, it will be very difficult to make that squat. So on the jump, you have to hop, amortize your jumping and you sit down into a squat, something like that. Not too deep, but about 90 degrees or maybe a little bit less. You have to amortize your landing. Now, when you know all the proper stages of the jump, I will show you two small exercises that will help you to understand the mechanics better. The first one will be the jump without a jump. It looks like that. So you just make all the things, but without actual jumping. The swing going up and down. Just to understand all the continuous movement. And the second exercise is a jump from a squat. So it looks like that. We are going in a squat, making a small jump and back on the position. This is the exercise that will help you to understand how your apes are working during the jump. Do all the four stages, preparation, swing with the arms, jump, landing. Don't forget about the main rules, jump up and don't swing your arms too much. This is the key to the stable jump, good flight. This is the key to the stable landing and this is the key to her heart. If she likes inline skating, of course. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed. You can also hit the super thanks icon that will help me to get some money on new Insta360 camera because my current equipment is not very easy to handle. In the next video, I will show you some additional moves that will help you to make your jumps a little bit higher and a little bit longer. See you next time. Bye. Not too much because you will probably fall from that position. <laughs>